What up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mug. Today I'm doing an unboxing of... Well, not really an unboxing, but just a little look at what my good buddy Ringo Simkins sent me. The box set of Death on the Rake. Oh, so awesome. Got these handouts in front of me on my bed here. Because there's more stuff than can fit on my modeling table. Maps and handouts. First edition Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay was so, so awesome. I mean... I really, really liked how detailed and stuff they got into their art. And uh, they were so precise. Everything now with Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 3rd Edition is, is more like vague, kind of like narrative. You decide what you want to do. But, I mean, they really laid it out for you and let, let your imagination kind of run wild. With each of the towns in the Rakeland, they had... A name of the town plus how they made their money their population size all of that stuff I mean so detailed inside the box you also got a map of the Rakeland as well as a colored map of where the end game takes place in this awesome spooky castle von Wittgenstein Stein? von Wittgenstein and uh, I, I remember using this map and I remember just loving it so much. I had so much fun with this adventure. The adventure itself, like I said, is for Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 1st Edition. Look at these jokers. And great adventure. So much stuff in it. So uh, visual. Lots of great art. But, I mean, the narrative of it is so great. So tight. And uh, I loved it. I really, really loved it. It, it kind of starts with some some intrigue and and a little jaunt up the river with some rules on how to do river uh, combat and trading there was trading in warhammer first edition fantasy roleplay where you could take like cotton or goods from one town and trade them up river and then get more goods and go down river and it's just you're going further and further into into the bad the bad parts of the province and then finally you end up at this spooky castle where all this crazy stuff happens. Loved it. Great adventure. Loved the map. Thank you so much, Ringo. He sent this to me as a care package. Let's see what else he sent me. Because I, I think I've only got so much time in this uh, video before it cuts off. So <laughs> I asked him about possibly letting me see if he's got any of the... Oh, where's the light? Do I need to put my flashlight on? Oh, I can't. Uh, it's, it's some pretty bad light here. Sorry about that. Uh, I'll go into more detail, but he's. I asked him about if he had a copy of the old epic rules that he wasn't using that I could use. So not only did he send me those, the, the epic game book, or the rule book that comes with the old epic 40k game, but he also sent me the battle book. What? And he sent me a bunch of old painted rhinos and whirlwinds. I'm sorry, the... the it's really poor here, so I, I won't wear, uh, look at those too long. But he also sent me this uh, limited edition figure from, I think, what did he say, War Game? War Game Foundry? Oh, I've got that right here. Uh, yeah, a short run figure from War Games Foundry. And he painted it up, the awesome Ringo Simpkins paint style, so thank you for that. And look at this, three metal knights. Imperial Knights for the old 40k epic game and they have rocket launchers I think on the left hand and uh, He said sorry. There's no uh, Right arms, but I'm sure he said I'm sure you could kit bash something so I definitely will because those are so awesome Thank you all these extra figures. Are you kidding me? And I only asked if, if, if he had an extra copy of the or if I could have his copy of the old epic rules Thank you. Thank you Ringo and last but not least he heard in my videos that I was planning on going into the 6mm stuff, and he sent me all of this Byzantine Empire 6mm figures. I mean, just amazing. I was so floored when I saw this arrive in the mail altogether. So thank you, Ringo. You are so awesome, and I'm, I'm so happy to... Uh, have found your channel and I consider you a friend and definitely if for some reason I don't know why you would be but if you're not subscribed to Ringo Simpkins yet I'm gonna put his link below when I actually get out onto a computer because I'm recording this off of my phone and definitely check him out he's a great guy amazing for sending this across the pond to me 
all the way out in my little island. So thank you, sir. And uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned as we'll get more into it. Maybe I'll do a little bit of uh, more of an in-depth look at Death on the Rake. And definitely, Ringo, your Advent challenge this year. This is what I'm doing, buddy. Thanks for watching. Latest players.